The buzz around blockchain started a few years back, but the impact on the food industry is only beginning to be realized. And the growth is still imminent. The market is expected to grow 51% from 2016 through 2022. And the business value add of blockchain will grow to more than 176 billion by 2025. So what is it? At its core, blockchain is a list of records that are linked and secured. It is never stored in one central repository. Rather, records are public and verifiable. It allows everyone involved to keep track of digital currency transactions without central record keeping. Blockchain is a very specific technology that was created uh, essentially as a distributed ledger uh, solution. So uh, a ledger is simply a database of transactions. Uh, and blockchain was created to solve some very specific uh, problems around digital uh, currency or cryptocurrency as it's known today. Uh, blockchain is simply a, a general ledger in terms of helping us think about how to transfer, how to share information. So blockchain is a, uh, also known as a distributed ledger technology. It's, um, it's essentially a uh, database system that's distributed uh, and uh, there is usually some amount of um, uh, setting in stone, if you will, of the data that um, people can't tamper with the data once it's laid down into the blockchain. Blockchain is a way to know your food. In other words, it's a data fabric that has a way in which independent parties can contribute their assertions, and those assertions get corroborated by others in the chain. Accenture predicts the trajectory for blockchain will remain in the growth phase through 2024 and will reach maturation by 2025. How will blockchain impact the food industry in the future? Perhaps one of the biggest opportunities that is being recognized today lies in the traceability of food with a specific focus on food safety. But I see that being adapted, first of all, in that area of food safety and traceability to help ensure that the food that's being delivered is safe. Traceability is a huge opportunity for the industry. Um, blockchain would be an example of that. Uh, overall traceability is critical, and because of all these recalls over the last few years, we're seeing more and more uh, buyers requiring it, but it's still a long way away. Traceability is also a challenge unto itself because the sheer implementation of practice of traceability is cumbersome right now. However, with sensor technologies and many fluid technologies that are just coming in in terms of nanotechnologies and nanosciences, our prediction is that actually the packaging unit, the package itself, is going to be active and intelligent. One of the most profound use cases for leveraging blockchain for traceability of food is in the tracking of one piece of fruit. It is the pineapple and Walmart example. Um, there has been big push in recent years to understand where, uh, for example, a piece of fruit came from and, and what is it went through. And blockchain technology would allow us to do that more effectively and efficiently and securely. The example that people often use is Walmart and pineapples and the fact that it used to take them two weeks to figure out where a shipment came from and where it was in the supply chain. Employing blockchain, it takes two seconds. The farmer says, I harvested tomatoes on a particular day and we box them. The next person in the chain could be a boxer or the transportation company says, I affirm that that has actually happened. A benefit of blockchain comes from the strength of the Internet of Things and digital transformation. The advantage of blockchain is it is public. Everyone participating can see the blocks and the transactions stored in them. At the same time, it is decentralized, so no one person can approve the transactions or set specific rules to have transactions accepted. The benefits to the blockchain are transparency. Um, given the fact that it's, it's, it's very well-defined technology, um, it's open source, so it's not owned by any particular company. There's no particular you know, 
company initiative uh, that's, that's being served by it. And that is that blockchain has a whole new purpose, I think, in the food industry, and it has to do with the, the notion of what distributed data brings us. And distributed data that blockchain has allows the data not to be compromised. You want to be able to have a string of events, participants, and data in which you can look at it once and everybody in the chain actually relies upon it. Going forward, companies need to look past all the hype and to adoption of an open, shared ledger platform. If it hits its target mark, it can lead to new commercialization. The next step is to look at ways that blockchain can be widely accepted into business processes in companies and across the food supply chain. Um, and so I think that, that distributed ledger technologies like blockchain are going to become critical in, um, in the development of the Internet of Food. You know, farmers have been generating information their entire lives. They now have an opportunity to package it and have attribution and ownership and rights of use of that data. Blockchain is the hot new game-changing technology. It has the potential to create positive disruption in the food industry. With roughly 77% of businesses say they are going to adopt blockchain as part of a production system or process by 2020. The challenge then becomes understanding the technology and the adoption implications. If you have done your homework and you've aligned yourself with the right partners, then you should know what path you want to take. What is your next step in the digital transformation journey?